You heard Rivi Ultra, I'm gonna react to the story of Naughty Osama, alright. Naughty Bop is a song and dance that's been blowing up all over social media. But what most people don't realize is that it's actually a savage diss track aimed at a 14 year old rapper named Naughty Osama who was stabbed to death earlier this year. Then yeah, doing the summertime and shit, that shit's sad, bro. Rest in peace, I'm not here. This is the tragic story of a kid who was murdered, then had his name used for a viral dance that mocked his own death. Not much is known about Nadia Osama's early life. His family used to live in Harlem, but a couple of months before he died, they moved to Yonkers. Him and his brother, Didi Osama, were both trying to make it in the rap game. And the neighbors used to file noise complaints against them all the time for bumping their music too loud. Their brother, J Star Bala, is in the rap game too. But Nadia and Didi came up together and was damn near like twins. Even though he was only 14, Nadia was dropping drill tracks and dissing dead ops like he was. Yeah, every, that's, the, that's the thing in New York, New York um, drill. Now, everybody's dissing ops that are alive, that are dead. Like, it's like crazy, man. Like, the trenches his whole life. He rep OY for original young gangsters and had beef with the YGs and their affiliates. Naughty and Didi didn't start dropping music until earlier this year, but they was already picking up momentum before Naughty was tragically killed in July. Nadi was known for dissing the Ops and his music. He took shots at K-Flock and his dead homies on the track, What You Wanna Do, and rap, KK what? K-Flock to my d His mans got hit and didn't do shit. Nothing to say, scream D away, put a hole in his face. When Didi and Nadi linked up on the track, Dead Ops, they both took shots at the YGs, Drillies, and c High Watts, who was killed back in February. Nadi said, c High had died, nobody gonna slide. I'm a devil, just look at my eyes. I'm only 14 with a block on my side. If I catch me an op, bullets rip through his spine. And later in the track, he rapped, Spin 8 0, trying to catch me a G's. We sit penny, no, we don't sit muddy. He can get shot if he hop like a bunny. Now they also be with a crew called 41. 41 ain't really a gang like OY or YG's. But now they still went after them when they linked up with a dude named Blockwork. Blockwork repped OY and was cool with dudes from the OG's like Shy K. But then rumors started flying that he snitched on his own homies. Naughty aired out the situation on the track 41K and said, Naughty was this and I ain't gonna lie, Naughty was violating niggas like before he like passed. Like 41K, y'all jacking the snitches. Okay, y'all gonna get stitches. Call up my twin when it's time for the mission. Spin through the eight, trying to see who we clicking. Who the fuck is that dyke? You jacking for one, then you losing your life. Then he took shots at two dead ops and rap. Smelly a he got poked for a bite. Yo, Quan, keep throwing that bit. We're gonna do him like Ra, leave him something to whip. Smelly was stabbed to death back in 2016 after getting into a fight over a dirt bike sale. He was tied with Lil TJ. And afterwards, TJ and his homies started going by the name Smelly Gang. And Ra G's was shot last year in the back of an Uber. He was headed to a recording studio when two dudes rode up on scooters and started letting off shots. Rapping about his wild come up, this and ops, got not his name buzzing. But unfortunately, the street activities caught up to him and he was stabbed to death before he could make it out of the trenches. Back in July, Naughty spotted an op at the 137th Street City College Station. The surveillance footage ain't been released, so it's not clear exactly how everything went down. But Naughty and his homies allegedly pressed the dude and Naughty hit him with a broomstick. That's when the unnamed 15 year old pulls out a knife and stabbed Naughty at least once. Naughty pushed the dude onto the tracks and tried to run up the stairs, but the knife hit his organs and he collapsed. He was rushed to a local hospital, but tragically, it was too late and Naughty died from the stab wound. The dude who stabbed him had to be treated for stab wounds too, and then he was arrested on second degree murder. But after the cops saw the video footage that allegedly shows Naughty and his crew swinging first, the charge was downgraded to manslaughter. After it happened, Didi hopped on IG and said, like, why did you leave me? Why you tell me that death is easy? Back in September, Didi did an interview with P Films. Where were you when you when you heard the news of, of what took place with him? I, I was, I, I'm gonna tell you, I was with him. Rumors were flying and he was there at the station and ran away. But Didi says he was already on his way back to the block but Nadi and his homies saw the op. Even though Naughty was just a 14 year old kid, that ain't stop his awesome dissing him right after he died. Yeah. 
You know, like, the streets don't care what age, you know, you are, bro. Like, you could die at any age while you in the streets, bro. Like, that's, that's. Kev G's up on IG Live and said, Never, ever, ever lag. Ever, ever. Can't be in no train station like that stupid <laughs> naughty, you heard? Block work, bro. Sneak this me. Now you skull emoji. God bless the little n Then in October, Kyle Rich took disrespect to a new level. He dropped Naughty Pop. On the hook, he raps. Naughty Naughty Poppin', punching my hips. Like, come here, gotta do it like this. Don't drop my shit. D Man, he tried to dip, but he tripped. Beef ain't dead till he's dead in my split. Later in the track, he references one of Naughty's lines from the song 41K and says, Brody said we was gonna get stitches. One day was dissing, the next in the dishes. Naughty had this another rapper for 41 and Jen Carter. And on Naughty Bob, she rapped, he got pokes in his hip, so I'm pushing that spot. 41K, then he died by the poke, can't remember the shots that I throw. When I'm smoking on Naughty, I'm high as a ghost. Naughty Bob and the dance went viral on TikTok. And one of the points of it was to trick authority figures into dancing to a diss track and at a 14 year old kid. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, niggas was dancing to it, OD, bro, on TikTok. Even the even the cops cops was dancing to it, bro. Even 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 like people from other states was dancing to the song, bro. Like it was getting sturdy with that song, bro. People were getting cops, teachers, even priests to do the dance. Cops, you know, like everybody, everybody on t everybody get was get was dancing to the song, bro. Poking it. They have some shit like, um, not even realizing where it came from. Diddy wasn't gonna take the disrespect, and he responded to everyone dissing his brother on the track back to back. He said, Hey, yo, TG, suck my. Why you talking on Naughty? JB got hit. Bad, he ran and tripped. Then Nazi died right after J Rip. TG is a dude from DOA, and Diddy this his homie JB, who was killed in front of a deli. And Nazi and J Rip. Two of K Flock's friends who got murdered. Then he went after more dead ops and sent shots at 41 with the line, Still 41K? I'm smoking on Lay and I'm smoking on Blay. If I catch me a 41, he going away. DD was already putting in work on the music side before Naughty was killed. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. After, after, not, after um, his brother passed, DD, DD, DD Osama, he's been, he's been blowing up, bro. He's been dropping like consistent music and all that shit. Dude, he has been blowing up, bro. He has, he has, like, he has, he's, he's, he started, like, growing, like, fan bases. Like, mainly, like, like, you know, like, girl fan base, like, females, like, fan base. Who, who, who fuck with him. Now, he's really blowing up and becoming one of the hottest new rappers in the city. And also, Dida, too. He's been dropping music all year. And now, he's racking up millions of views on YouTube. He had four songs, break over a million views in less than a month. And back in September, he leveled up again when PGF Nook brought him out at Rolling Loud. Nook is already popping off his viral track, What Up, with Polo G. So linking up with him could be huge for Didi. But even though he's already having a lot of success, Didi says it don't really matter to him after losing Naughty. He told Kids Take Over. Fame, all of this shit don't face me. It don't feel like it's how I was supposed to feel anything. I'm supposed to feel good about it. I mean, supposed to be with bro. I don't feel is still grinding, so he wants to put on for Naughty, keep his legacy alive. Now DD is signed to Alamo Records, which is the same label a huge artist like Lil Durk and Rod Wave were on. Naughty Osama was a talented kid with a lot of potential, but tragically, he was killed before he even got the chance to grow up. Hopefully, DD can move on, keep his brother's legacy alive through music, but just making it out of the streets would be a huge win. Rest in peace. thoughts on, on this on on this shit bro like um nah I ain't gonna lie like um I ain't gonna lie um a nigga from um from their from their um like they block like they gang whatever like um a nigga like a nigga stab somebody a nigga poke somebody like in, in the Bronx for um for um doing that dance bro doing the naughty bop and shit bro like like one of they men stabs poke somebody for for doing that dance, bro. So yeah, bro. Like 
Uh, yeah, don't don't let them don't let them s catch you doing that shit, bro. Like, cause you know, like it like, it could get it could get ugly, bro. Like it, that could start problems and shit. Like, so yeah, bro. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibes. What if you're just checking out, you are.